the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Moto Satchel. It's small, it's crossbody, and I love it. I love it so much. I bought this one online from Rebecca Minkoff for like, I ended up getting it for like 78 bucks. I saw the yellow one in Nordstrom and I was like, ooh, that's really cute. But I wonder if I could find it for cheaper online. And I did, so I ended up buying it in blue, which seems to be my go-to color for clothes and accessories, but I love it. It's really cute. It's got all these awesome tassels. There's two on each handle, front and back, and then one on each um, zipper. I don't put anything in this because it's a very tiny pocket. I could probably put like some money and hide it in there and then just have it for emergencies, but I don't. And then it just has two handles and then a little zipper on top. Oh, and the zipper also has tassels. But it's so cute. I love it. It's amazing. So let's see what's in it. First off, I have a receipt from Gas that I bought this morning. Um, I filled up my entire tank for $24.43, so that's awesome. And then I have my wallet. This is a Kate Spade wallet that I got a while ago. Try not to show you all my stuff. It's full of all my cards and my cash and other cards that are not like money cards, like my Costco card. All that stuff, it's amazing. I love it because it's bright orange on the outside and hot pink on the inside, so it's like, you cannot miss this. If I had a giant bag, it would be perfect, but I don't like carrying giant bags. Um, do I have, I don't usually carry change in here because you can see it through the leather and it's not great. Um, uh, oh, and I have a note that my dad put in my wallet a long time ago and I just keep it in there because it's great. Oh, and I have my card, my esthetician's card, so I can call her for an appointment whenever I need to. So there's that. I have this little Clinique makeup bag. It's a little tiny one. And this is like my essential emergency pack bag. I have a pad. I have my knife. I have a tiny Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. This is in, I want to say it's warm brown sugar. Warm vanilla sugar. <laughs> so for emergencies, I have a little thing with Excedrin and ibuprofen because I get migraines and headaches a lot. I have a tiny floss. I have a mer an emergency chapstick, just in case. I have a tampon, a mint, more floss, more tiny floss, hair tie, bobby pin, another mint, and three, uh oh, another bobby pin and three cup drops, just in case. And then I have this cute little Mark by Mark Jacobs. It's like that cool flash material so it glows when the light's on it in the dark. And it's just a little pouch that I used to use as a wallet but I don't anymore. It has like my card, stamp cards for like human bean and Dutch Bros and whatever. Oh, and my coupon from Ulta which is expired. So I can't even use that. And then, this is where I keep all my change. All that change. I need to empty it because it's getting really heavy, but, you know. Then, I have another chapstick. This is a Neutrogena one. The other one's Neutrogena, too. I have two of these Justin's Honey Peanut Butter packets from the protein boxes at Starbucks. As I've had two protein boxes apparently. I have a Nature Valley protein bar. This is the peanut, almond, and dark chocolate. It's really good. I take these to work. To have. And that's all I have in the main part. And then on the side pocket, all I have is another chapstick. This is Burt's Bees ones. One. And in the zipper pocket, I just have the little card that says it's from Rebecca Minka. But yeah, and then I got some crumbs in the bottom, which is gross. So yeah, that's entirely what's in my bag. That's all that I fit in there. Boom. I am a person that likes to take minimal stuff. Like I don't like heavy bags because they're annoying and I have bad back and bad shoulders. So like 
having a heavy bag, bag would just ruin it for me. But yeah, so let me know if you guys like my little mini what She totally mind. inspired me to get this purse. This is the Rebecca Minkoff mini moto stashel, I think it's called. So I think it was around last year, Nancy did a vlog where she went to an event and she got to meet Rebecca Minkoff and plus she won a giveaway where she won a purse. Can you hear Simba playing with his mouse out there? Ever since then, I was completely obsessed. I was like, that is so pretty. And it's not very often that a purse catches my eye, but when it does, I become like completely obsessed and enthralled with this purse. And I'm like, one day I will have that. <laughs> so here I am a year later. I picked this up while I was in Toronto for Gen Beauty and I absolutely love it. Um, the one I had my eye on was the black one, but I came across this one at Holt Redfrew and I just thought it was totally gorgeous. So. I love this color. This is like one of my favorite colors. It's a lot smaller than any other purses that I have, which I like. I'm kind of trying to downsize with like all the stuff that I carry. Oh my gosh, I still remember the first investment kind of purse I had. It was a coach purse and it was humongous. I still have it and like I use it nowadays for like if I'm ever traveling anywhere or I need like a carry-on purse because like it can hold a laptop along with like the rest of my life. <laughs> so yeah, this one has a couple zippers in the front, I haven't used those yet. And then you open it up and then this is the inside. It has a couple of flaps on the back here and then a little zip and then plus an additional pocket flap. The first thing I have in here is my phone and I just got a new phone case which is exciting. It matches my planner that I have so I really like this. And then I have my sunglasses. I love these. I've had them for years. They're from Ray-Ban and they're the new Wayfarer in the style RB2132. They're super sturdy and I carry them around with me everywhere. These have like had a hard time. I'm really surprised that they're not broken. Then I have my little card holder from Kate Spade. It's in this pastel pink color. I really like the way that these two go together. And it holds all of my cards, which is so handy. I used to carry on like this huge wallet, but I realized that I don't really carry on cash or change a whole lot. So this has just been so much better for carrying around everything that I need. And then I have this pack of oil blotting sheets. They're actually from Nancy and I think she got them from Dezo. She always sends me the most amazing care packages and she's been keeping me super stocked on the oil blotting sheets. So thank you, Nancy. And then I have a gift card for the Chateau for $25. I actually won this when like they started up their Snapchat. And if you're one of the first 100 people to follow them, you want a gift card. So that was really cool. Then I have the mini size of the Be Delectable Everything Balm. To me, it feels like Vaseline on, but it's not as thick. It has 21 different uses. It says that it brightens dark circles, nourishes dryness, uh, pops cheekbones, tames brows, nourishes and softens lips and heels. So yeah, so far I've only used this on my lips, but I love it. And then I have a Lip Smackers in the Strawberry Banana flavor because throwback to my childhood. <laughs> this lipstick is so magnetic. Look, I don't need... <laughs> I don't even need a coin purse anymore because having this lipstick in there just holds everything for me. You see that? It's the Nars Audacious lipstick in the shade Anita. I love this so much. It's I think it's my favorite lipstick hands down ever. These are so moisturizing and this is the perfect mauvey pink shade. I love it so much. Then I have a hair elastic necessity and then I have the lip combo that I'm wearing right now. This is the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade 02 Sweetheart. So it's a really pretty bright pink shade. I love it. I've always wanted like pink to be my signature shade. I think I'm gonna start rocking this more. And these are really comfortable to wear. They're super moisturizing and they last a really long time. And then on top I have the New Essence Pretty Fine Lip Oil. And yeah, this just gives a really nice glossy finish. It looks super bright pink in the tube, but it doesn't really give off a lot of color. It's just a really light sheen, but it's really moisturizing on and I love that. So yeah, that's everything in my purse right now. I also forgot to mention it has a super long strap on it that you can adjust, which is super handy. I love crossbody bags. I just find that they're so easy to just toss on and run at the door. I used to hang this purse on my doorknob and that's where I leave it until like I need to take it somewhere. But one day I came out and Simba was like pawing at the string and I was like, oh, that's not good. So yeah, I've had to hide it ever since. So yeah, that has been everything in my purse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go over and check out Nancy's video because she's amazing and so, so sweet. I know you guys will love her channel. And let us know in the comments below. What are some and today I have for you the Micro Moto Satchel from Rebecca Minkoff.
This bag is made of soft, pebbled leather and comes with dual rolled carrying handles along with a fully adjustable crossbody strap to customize your fit and feel. It's made with a flat base on the bottom that makes it great to stand upright on uneven surfaces, and the main compartment is secured with a zipper closure. On the inside of the bag, you'll find that it's fully lined and it's functional with a zipper pocket on one side and slip pockets on the other side for your smaller items. I love this bag for so many reasons. It's a great size, it's not too big, not too small, and you can wear it two different ways, so it's really cool. You are quite lucky if you can call Hi, it yours. I want to do another review video for you of my latest handbag purchase. So this is the Rebecca Minkoff Micro Reagan Satchel, and it's a very cute little rectangular bag. This is in the Harvest Gold color, which is a lovely mustard yellow. I got this in the Shopbop sale and they had an extra 25% off and it's got the silver hardware as well. Um, one thing to note is that the zipper pulls on this are plain, so on my Mini Max it's stamped with Rebecca Minkoff, so I don't know how new that is or old that is, I haven't bought a Rebecca Minkoff in a while. Um, it's got it on, hopefully you can see it, it's actually got it on the side instead of in the middle of zipper pull like it used to. So this is a really nice bag. It's crossbody. The strap is removable though if you just wanted to have it handheld or in the crook of your arm. Um, the crossbody strap is balanced across the bag so that when it is being carried with a shoulder strap it doesn't hang or sag or open up the bag at all. And the shoulder strap being adjustable is very petite friendly. I haven't even got it on the shortest setting. So this is what it looks like worn with the long shoulder strap and I usually end up wearing it crossbody which hits at the perfect height just on my hip. We have this little front zipper pocket which really doesn't hold very much at all. You can maybe put your keys in there. Um, but you're not going to be able to fit anything else in there. It's a very full pocket. <laughs> so I don't use that front pocket at all, but I don't use the front pocket on my Mini Max either. So I just use the pockets inside. Inside you've got this fabric pocket here with the Rebecca Minkoff on it. And that's where I keep my keys. And then you've got the main compartment. It's quite roomy in here. I find it really easy to take things in and out. Things like my wallet, uh, Popo, um, and my mobile phone. I find that really easy to get things in and out of this bag. The one thing to note is that the zipper pull actually continues on along from the top of the bag, right down the side there. And it's a little press stud here so that you can, if you didn't like the look of it, I guess you could tuck it in. I like to just leave it like that. I don't mind it hanging over the end of the bag at all. So I find it's a really good size. It feels roomier than the Mini Mac bags, but I don't carry anything different to what I would carry in a Mini Mac bag. I do find that it does look nice and roomy, and you probably think you could add something else in, but if I was to add in something like a sunglasses case, it, could, it feels like it fills the bag up. Um, so I tend not to do that because it feels a bit big and bulky, although it doesn't look too bad. It just makes it a little trickier to get things in and out of it. It's the perfect size for me. I really like the shape. I like the style. I like the extra tassels. Um, if you've seen the other videos on my channel, you know I like the Balenciagas with the tassels. <laughs> so I really like this bag. It's an adorable little one. I, I'm not going to give up my Mini Max for it anytime soon, but I am really glad that I bought this. And if you're looking at it and you like little bags, I'd highly recommend this one. Um, let me know if you have any other uh, comments or questions, anything you want to know about this bag that I haven't already covered. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.